Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Spiritual thoughts. Think about it. How can the creator of an object find it challenging to manipulate the object? It's relatively easy for a machine designer to operate, repair, alter, and improve the machine. This ideal is anticipated for all creators concerning their creations. In our scripture text, God announces himself as the Lord, which interprets the word Jehovah, a variant for the most revered Jewish name of God. Jehovah means the self-existent, eternal one who has no beginning and no end. So God refers to his timeless, infinite nature to make us ponder his awesomeness and majesty. God also refers to himself as the God of all flesh. This title indicates that he is the source of all biological, psychological, social, and spiritual life. It thus establishes that he is the originator and controller of everything that is consciousness and corporal form. That's an astounding thing to contemplate. Finally, when you have duly understood the ramifications of God's name and title in this verse, you are now faced with unraveling this query. Is there anything too hard for God? However, anyone who has adequately brainwashed the claims of the Almighty in this verse, you will come to realize that the question is somewhat rhetorical. The answer is simply obvious and obviously simple. God is too mighty for any task one can conceive. Nothing, absolutely nothing, is too difficult for the God of all flesh. Prayer O God of all flesh, I know who you are and that there is nothing too hard for you. I know that delivering my son from this evil situation is not difficult for you to do. God, please, I ask that you release my son from this bondage of the devil in Jesus' name. Comment your prayer request below and don't forget to tap the like button.